eating as a national pastime in Germany is only surpassed by beer drinking. So it seems natural that almost every region in Germany has its own specialty in cuisine. In the Bremen Oldenburg region of northern Germany, the Kohlenpinkel reigns supreme. This specialty is a simple dish that dates back over 400 years. Kohlenpinkel has grown in popularity through the ages because of its compatibility with modern traditions that make combining the old with the new fun. But before we get into customs, let's see exactly what Kohlenpinkel is. Kohlenpinkel is a winter specialty, eaten only in late December, January, February, and March. The reason for this is the main ingredient of the dish, coal, is a winter crop. Horst Munk, an amateur historian of North German customs, explains about the advantages of coal and how its flavor is actually enhanced by winter's freezing temperatures. And this one special kind of uh, cabbage, they don't have to bother with it. They just uh, plant it and let, let it grow, and they can harvest it whenever they need it. It doesn't, doesn't have to be looked after doesn't make any difference whether it's, uh, it's uh, cold or freezing outside, snow or winter time. They can just leave it outside and uh, get it in whenever they want to eat it. We only grow this uh, sort of cabbage in the northern parts of Germany, just around the vicinity of Bremen and Oldenburg. Throughout the winter, the coal is harvested from the fields. The leaves are stripped from the stalks, and the coal is placed in a large pot to cook. In earlier times, the whole mixture was placed over an open fire. However, today, the stove is the main medium for cooking. Added to the pot with the coal is the pinkle sausage, which is a combination of bacon bits, oatmeal, flack, fat, onions, and other various seasonings. The coal, pinkle sausage, as well as ham, pork chops, onions, and other seasonings are all combined in one large pot to cook. After simmering several hours, the mixture is left overnight to add to the flavor of the coal and pinkle. The next day, the colon pinkle is reheated and served with other types of pork. While taste is an important part of the colon pinkle's popularity, the food's real enjoyments come from the colon pinkle fart, or tour. The tour is a new addition to colon pinkle's more ancient traditions. Usually, these tours are sponsored by clubs, companies, or private groups that invite their members to partake. The groups gather together at guest houses or take walks through the woods before sitting down to a huge colon pinkle meal. This before-dinner preparation usually includes some drinking of corn that's said to aid in the digestion of the pinkle. At larger festivities, after eating a huge meal of coal and pinkle, the celebration is capped off with a kegling tournament or dance. While traditions and customs of the coal and pinkle add greatly to its popularity, its hearty German flavor is not to be overlooked. The best way to describe the taste of coal and pinkle is to invite you to the Bremen Oldenburg area for your very own coal and pinkle fart. Reporting from Bremerhaven for AFN, I'm Specialist Jeff Tichetal.